everyone, welcome to another episode in the Rails API series. In this episode right here, we're going to be setting up cores for our Rails application. So uh, if you take a look at the screen, I've got this Rails core, Rack Cores gem that we're going to be using in our Rails app. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to copy this uh, line over here and I'm going to put it in our gem file. So I'm going to head over into the code over here. Uh, and now I'm in the, my back end code base. And basically, I'm going to paste in rack cores. Uh, so right over here, down here, it's already uh, there for us. We just had to actually uncomment. So uh, rack cores, uh, once we have that, I'm going to head over into the terminal here. And then I'm in my back end over here. I'm going to do a bundle to install the cores gem. And basically, to set it up, it's very simple. All we have to do is just put this. Uh, snippet of code here in our application.rb. So uh, I'm going to head over into here and do application.rb and I'm going to paste it over here. So now what we're going to be doing is we need to um, allow uh, this uh, to basically have the support uh, patch, put, and delete requests as well because we're going to use uh, for this for everything. Uh, so now I'm going to just adjust the syntax here just a tad. So I'm going to put this as headers like that. Clean this up just a tad. All right. All right, so now we have um, the cores uh, set up in our application. Let's try this out. Uh, so I'm going to head over into the console over here, do a Rails S to start up the app. And then we're going to go ahead and actually make the request in our front end over here. So I'm going to hit Enter. And we'll see that it already successfully um, over here, it successfully made the request. So you can see here. Uh, it's made the request successfully, and there is no more uh, errors, but there's some kind of other errors. So uh, um, let me just close this out and then try and reload. So it runs through the whole uh, code. All right, so let's do take a look at the console. So the the origin stuff, the origin error was uh, that they were saying that the header didn't have the access control origin uh, is all gone now. And that means our server is now serving the API Ajax request that's required. But now there's some problem in our front end. So in the next episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix this. All right, guys, if you haven't become a member, uh, become a member, you get access to all our amazing content. Uh, and uh, if you already are a member, thank you. We really appreciate your support. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode.